Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, which is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am doing the booktube birthday tag. So I am celebrating one year of doing videos on booktube, and it wasn't until December of 2019 when I was looking specifically for readathons about science fiction books that I found booktubers. A couple months of watching and I knew that this was something that I wanted to do myself, but I was still very nervous. Now, my bachelor's is actually in film and media, so I enjoy making videos, but I like being behind the scenes. And I'm, I knew I was going to be very awkward to be in front of the camera, and so I practiced my booktube newbie video many times with many technical issues until I finally decided, okay, April will be the day that I launch. And I chose April because it is also my birthday month. And in fact, today that I'm filming this is my birthday. And I had to ask my parents how old I was because I had forgotten. Yes, everyone gets to a certain age where they no longer remember how old they are because it doesn't matter. And I am that age. Then I finally launched my first video and it just happened to coincide with many people also starting their booktube channels because they were at home for COVID. I was not stuck at home since I work in the health industry. I was still working, but I knew I needed this creative outlet and it has been a lot of fun for me this year. And so I guess if we're following the questions, how many years am I celebrating? I am celebrating my first complete year. Question number two, what has kept me motivated to continue making videos? And honestly, just because I am enjoying this process. I am learning a lot. I feel like I'm more comfortable in front of the camera. I'm, I'm not as awkward about it anymore. I don't have a lot of people in real life who like science fiction. I have friends who like fantasy, but we tend to like different types of fantasy. And so having a place where I can share my thoughts, even if I don't get a lot of views, that's okay. I'm still getting to put my thoughts out there. As a teenager, I would read book blogs and I'd read people's reviews. And I always was like, I want to do that. But I was never disciplined enough to sit down and write a review for any of the books that I liked. And honestly, I'm still not. But talking to a camera and talking about what I like has actually made it a lot easier for me to talk about the books that I enjoy and the ones I don't and to go into them more deeply about what I do like and what I don't like. For question number three, what uh, my favorite videos have I filmed this year? And since my work life has still been very busy and I'm a graduate student, I decided to have this first year's goal of just, am I going to be making videos for a year? If I can make videos for a year, then I can get more creative on that second year once I graduate, which will be in May. And so I stuck to many of the tried and true videos that I already see, the TBRs, the wrap ups, but I did try to have some videos that were a little bit different just to kind of see what I could do. I know one of my favorite videos was actually an early one. It was my Space Cadet review, since that is my favorite science fiction book. And then one I posted this past winter was about space opera written by female authors. The top 10, I took a Goodreads list, and I really enjoyed getting to do that because there were some authors on there that, that I had been aware of and just hadn't read any of their books yet. And getting to read them, I realized how much I really enjoyed them, and it's gotten me into different authors. So question four, what has been some of my struggles? Well, life. Uh, we've had some health issues in the family. I've had some technical issues. My original computer that I started this on died and I didn't have a computer for a month. And I was at that same time, I was living out of a hotel because we found mold in the apartment and then work gets busy. And so my struggles are just life. They're life struggles. Um, having the time to sit down and film. I know a lot of the, my videos are here, which is actually um, my parents' house. It's my sister's old room. She now lives in Japan. So when I come to visit my parents, I take a moment and I sit in front of her bookshelves to do filming. Yeah, time, life. That That's kind of one of the struggles. Also, there's 
sometimes I just want to read for a while. And then sometimes I just don't want to do anything creative. It happens. And it's okay. I've always found that I tend to have a cycle of creativity. I like to cross-stitch during the summer. I like to play video games in the winter. I don't know why. That's just how I am. So question number five is choose one moment to relive. So first when I read this question, I was thinking anything in my life? And I was like, oh no, they're probably thinking specifically about this year booktube. And I think the most exciting thing for me was just getting that first comment from somebody. Somebody had watched my video and they liked it enough to make a comment. And that made me happy. So at this point of time, I am the epitome of a small booktuber. And so I'm doing this because I enjoy it. I enjoy getting to talk to people about what I read and the videos I make. And so having that first comment, I know, makes me very happy. I know that one of my first subscribers is my mom. She doesn't watch every video, but it is kind of fun that sometimes I come and visit and she'll then talk to me about a video that she's watched and I just didn't even know that she had watched it. It's nice to see that what I'm doing here can roll over into my everyday life where then people can I can have conversations with people that normally would not come up. Six, what is the best book you have read in the past year? And I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me see. Um, after consulting my cop pile from last year, my cop pile this year, it looks like my highest rated were the were three books in the Murderbot series. Um, novellas three, four, and then the novel number five. I think out of those, Rogue Protocol was actually my favorite. I really enjoyed getting to see Murderbot go from investigating to being more active and trying to make things happen. And I really enjoyed that. Um, but it seems like that was my favorite series uh, read as well for last year. I had read the first two books, or the first two novellas previously, but those I finished, I, caught up, I got caught up on the series last year and really enjoyed it. Number seven. Where do I see my channel in the next year? And I honestly don't know. Um, it's always been my plan that once I graduate, I am going to do more author tube content as well, since I am a writer and I am working to get things published. You know, I won't have school to kind of be in the way. So I know that I am wanting to diversify my content a little bit more. I know I would like to invest in some better equipment. I enjoy getting to see people's vlogs and I have an awful, really old phone, so I know I want to upgrade that. Well, I need to upgrade that anyway, just because it, I get sick of it always telling me, you have no storage for your podcasts. Yeah. Um, anyways, my real goal for my channel over this next year is to just allow myself to be more creative. Um, be more creative in what I produce, or what I film, what I make, and have fun doing it because I'm having fun doing it right now, and I'd like to continue to have fun doing it. I hope to continue to connect with more sci-fi readers. So I watch a lot of YouTubers who like fantasy, and I really enjoy fantasy as well. But when I started BookTube, I didn't see a lot of people talking about science fiction. Since then, I have now met more people who do science fiction and follow and watch people's videos who focus more on science fiction. And I can, and I really just want to continue to meet people and get to know them. And really, like, this is just a very wholesome community that I'd like to be more a part of. That said, I also have clear boundaries on my personal time of when I do social media items like this and when I don't. I don't have Facebook because it was a time sink. So with YouTube, it's a little bit easier for me to pull off and say, no TV, no media. I'm done for the day kind of thing. And so for the tag people whose booktube birthday it is, a lot of the people that I found right as I was beginning either have stopped filming at this point or have already done the booktube tag because their one year was actually before mine. So I'm not sure who I could tag, but if your book to birthday is coming up and you want to do a video, please do so. It's fun to kind of get to do these reflection videos and to see people reflect on their past year. 
If you guys have any questions or any videos that you would like to see in the future, like I said, this year I am putting more towards cr being creative and trying new things. Give me suggestions, advice, whatever. Leave your comments down below. Thank you and have a great day.